Okay, coach, let's go bottom line first. You guys are 10 points down in the fourth quarter of a game that's an absolute grind. What kind of character was needed to not only tie that game, but to get it into overtime and overcome uh, everything that had gone wrong or challenges during the game? Well, the toughness was there. We just needed to execute. Uh, the defense got the ball back for the offense. They started making plays, and it kind of came together at the end. Tom Brady, he had to kind of dig within himself there. I know sometimes you, you say that we have a great seat to watch him do his thing in crunch time, but you know there were moments where he appeared frustrated during that game as well, and certain things not working in the passing game. Felt like he had to dig a little bit as well. What do you think about his performance as, a, as an individual quarterback in that situation? Well, he won the game at the end, so that's the main thing. But obviously, obviously he wasn't perfect during the game. The two turnovers we can't have, you know, for a variety of reasons. And we couldn't get any third and shorts, especially third and one short yards. We got to be a lot better at So you can see the frustration on him, his face, and different guys' face on the team. But they stuck together as a group, and they played together, and that's why we won the game. He described the two interceptions. The first one, he threw it early. Second one, he says he held on to it a little long. The first one, I, th I felt like it was this was the result of Josh Wells having to leave the game uh, because it came, the pressure came from that side uh, of the line. How big was that injury at the moment and for the rest of the game for you? Well, it was big line? because he was already our third tackle. So then we had to put in our fourth tackle. and. Walton fought, and we give him a lot of credit for fighting, and, and he hung in there and protected just well enough for us to get some wins in the game. But Josh was playing very well. Uh, he's one of the most likable guys on the team, puts in a lot of work. Uh, he earned his stripes, and, you know, that was tough to see. That was tough to see. It's You had Nick Leverett. I, he was kind of that guy for a while. He could really go up and down the line, play anywhere, uh, showed versatility. Was Josh Wells kind of that guy as well? Josh was. He was at the tackle spot. He could always go in the emergency at guard. So Josh did a lot of things for us. He even was an emergency snapper. Leonard Fournette had his total yards was his best game of the year. Was that his best performance that you remember? I, opening night, 127 yards rushing, and then he had another big game uh, to follow that later. But that was combined for him just the moments of the yardage as well I think opening night was his best performance but the things he did in this game as far as blocking catching and running the football getting some tough yards and breaking some tackles uh, together I think that made it a good performance for him and one more frustrating item though he was part of that one yard you had three cracks at one yard I know it sounds like a broken record um, what do you think is just happening on these one yard plays you've got such a collective sample now it's a stunt and we keep missing the guy and it's a different guy every time you know we have to be understand they're going to stunt in short yardage and we got to be able to wedge one yard out defensively here you go you get the, you get the the quarterback making his first start and we and you've even said all the players said it's scheme it's not the player how did your defense uh, shape up. You're holding them to field goals for most of the night as well and punts. You got a big turnover in the first half. Defensively, collectively, what was your opinion of that group? Well, they played tough. You know, they played hard. We gave up two plays. I think the deep ball and the touchdown run. Mike misjudged the deep ball and we got miscommunication on the touchdown, but they fought. They played hard. Uh, they were good on third down. We could tackle a little bit better in the run game. But for the most part, they hung in there and gave us a chance. And I don't think we've talked about Ryan Suckup all year. I mean, he's he quietly gets it done, but he hits a clutch kick last night. Uh, talk about the work he's done. Now, statistically for kickers, he's now among he's among the league leaders, uh, points and and that sort of thing. But in the moment, what do you feel about him going on the field? Well, I have this rule that I, I never talk about kickers, and if I have to talk <laughs> about kickers, they're probably missing kicks. So I'm going to leave that alone because he's making Fair a bunch enough. of kicks. Fair enough. He's making a bunch of kicks, so I'm not going to mention his name, <laughs> but he's, he's kicking well, and we should not have this conversation because he's kicking well. Coach says, cut that, please. We should not. You have set up, for, for lack of a better term, a championship game. Uh, this Sunday by winning that game last night. Uh, how excited is this group to, to come in here with all that's happened this year to, to just go to the stadium across the street and try and wrap this up? 
Like we said, our goals are still ahead of us. We're still focused on one thing, winning the division, and then once we get that, we're focused on trying to win the Super Bowl. So it's, it's ahead of us this week. We understand what we have to do. We just got to lock in.